Belmont versus Dark's Snake. So we're going to have a bit of a battle of the projectile characters. Squid Plumber does have the tools to go ahead and compete at mid-distance, though. Cross getting started. Trying to go ahead and get these forward airs or back airs. Just something to connect with Dark Shield. I love Dark going to platform. That's a bit of a blind spot for the Belmonts. Have to expand a double jump to get all the way up there. Dash attack forcing edge trap and great back off by Spoon Plumber. Now we're getting the edge trapping situation that the Belmonts are known for and already the damage being racked up, forcing Dark to go high. And, uh, Dark, it's looking really, really rough at the moment. Fortunately, though, Snake, Snake lives for quite some time. That's one thing you have going for you. King of Trades, this is a character that heavy percent. Oh, good God, actually, just barely getting clipped with that cross. Great spacing. Oh, good grab. I think he could have taken the stock, though, with the smash attack. Instead, has to rinse and repeat again. Up B by Dark. Didn't have the double, and kind of odd decision by Squid, just kind of giving up that platform. <laughs> In fact, giving up the whole stage at this point. That walk away just looks so menacing exactly. for some reason. Just, uh, I'm not in the right spot. This isn't where I want to be. Just going to turn my back <laughs> to you. We'll, 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 we'll pick this up in a minute. I won't look at you, Medusa. <laughs> oh, just, I mean, it's really interesting to watch how many times Squid Plumber has been correct. Because a lot of these hits weren't the, the typical, oh, you're stuck at the ledge, you're dying, you can't get up because of holy water or holy fire. It, this was... I'm right time and time again, tick, tick, tat, tat, and just really working out. Gets the down here, can't get the neutral air to try to extend the combo though. And Dark, he's doing a bit of an aggressive job right now. He's, he's going in a lot more for Squid. The confidence in this camp game appears to have been shattered right here. Okay, great, really well-timed roll by Dark. Very, very needed. That cross is just playing havoc with his camp game, too. Nikita! Ooh, avoiding it all! All right, best recovery in the game. All right, if you can avoid Nikita with the tether, best tether in the game. And again, just the cross comes through, just breaks whatever kind of flow Dark had, and he just lets swinging while Squid Plumber moves all around him. Yeah, and just, you can tell right now, Dark really, really trying to get the stock. He had the kill right there with the first hit of forward tilt and just couldn't quite connect. But instead, the Nikita not going to be able to dodge that with the tether this time around. And this is Dark's time to shine. 34, if you can keep the pressure up, you know, in a great spot. And Dark is doing just that quick 54%. That back air a little ill-advised, unfortunately, giving Squid Plumber a chance to play the game again. The edge trap is aborted there by Squid and Dark. Again, setting up a trap of his own. No roll in, though. Very good get up by Squid, and then immediately into the shield to deal with those smash attacks. Is it just me or is Dark pulling grenades like on his get ups to be hit by the holy water? I'm not sure. It feels like he's like doing that on purpose so that he's not getting trapped at ledge as much. He's just getting hit high. If so, big brain plays. We're fine. Right, we can't ask Dark because Dark's going to say yes. Exactly. <laughs> we, we can't assume that this one's got. Oh, that could have been, I thought we were going to see a back throw into a, possibly a, a ledge trap. Or even an up, uh, up he had a shield, he was at like 200 or so. Yeah, but that up smash finds his mark. You're at 140 though, definitely have to worry about pretty much everything Snake does other than a grenade. Oh no, yeah, you, that'll do. You, tried to, you tried to shield grab the back here. What? You don't have arms like that. You're not, you're not Min Min, you're not Olimar. It's Snake's secret you're good not, move. You're not ZSS, you're not... <laughs> you don't have a tether, my friend. Everybody forgets about like all the shield push and the fact that it doesn't really have that much lag on that back end. Mm, yeah. And this is a really, really close game despite how things were looking at first for Dark. So kudos to Dark for the adjustments that have been made. Not actually getting that jab block. Dark is putting Squid Plumber into an awkward spot that Squid is responding appropriately every single time. And these trades, because the grenade was part of it, actually put Dark at such a deficit. True, though, the kill differential might actually make this in his favor. <laughs> yeah, speak of the devil. Right on cue. How'd you know? You, you, how long have you been talking about these video games, right? <laughs> <laughs> Snake's just one of those characters, man. It just clicks. He, he's... This is one of those characters where the kit matches everything that he's trying to do. If he was a little bit lighter, he would be so much worse. Yeah. But the fact that he's heavyweight, lanky, He's got consistent kill options, and he lives long. Like, every single one of those pieces comes together to form a character who's just really, really well-designed in my mind. Except for Nikita. Yeah, Except for Nikita. Nikita, no. 
Yeah. <laughs> that move can go away. That can go, can go back to being Brawl Nikita, where we're just absolutely useless. Yeah. Well, I feel like Nikita defies the rules of Smash. Normally, the rules of Smash, if you take a risk, went to hit your opponent off stage, and Nikita does it. True, true, <laughs> You yeah. take a risk or a commitment, it does none. There's no lag, you control it, it kills early. I'm just like, wow, man, this is a great tool. Into the up smash, that was Look such at Dark a combo. Head too. I mean, that was a beautiful conversion. I'll never tell Dark, but <laughs> don't watch this stream. But that was really, really clean into an up smash. Rarely do you see a combo into that. Not going to get the tipper, though, so Squid Plumber not going to claim that early stock, even after the very good edge trap. Up be out of shield again by Squid, forcing Dark into another edge trap situation. Yeah, how do you get up? Okay, managed to do it. That that holy water just not placed correctly, and Dark getting up a bit easy because of it. And I'm curious if the um the Simon pick was because of the fire element on the holy water. Like the other one is just like aura element, but this one is fire, so maybe this one is actually like detonating grenades. Did Dark blow that up himself? Um, I, I don't. So. I don't think that that was a timer. I think yeah. he hit the wrong button. He was trying to pull a grenade. <laughs> Man, sometimes you hit down by mistake. I understand it's rough. Okay, much better punish on the up B. I mean, on the back here, going for an up B instead of that uh, shield grab that was attempted last time. Oh. Run just that was so raw. Just do it. Yeah. Surprise it again. It's a regrab. Ooh, a trade that worked out. I mean, it was a regrab, so it made a lot of sense. Surprise Squid took that chance. These axes, though, it actually destroyed Cypher, forces Dark into a really awkward spot. Great recognition of the angles that the axes go through when they're just, like, dropping through ledge. Did you get away? No? Okay, Dark. This I movement. Mean, yeah, it's it's really nice. I, I really like, though, when Dark is up close and personal. You know, Squid Plumber being above you, you're getting that save damage, but... Whenever Dark actually gets inside and starts these tech chases, start getting that momentum going, it's been really, really difficult for Squid Plumber to get anything going. Using the Lilat ledges, but the plant's not quite playing that big of a role there for Squid as Dark just going high yet again. And these grenades just clanking with the holy fires, but the axe <laughs> comboed into from the cross and Dark just like smacking his forehead. An audible face palm. It looked, it looked goofy. It looked funny, though. What? How did he... He missed with the forward tilt, and then he got the grab? Okay. Okay, Sakurai. This is your game. It's good character. We're all just playing it. What can you say? Good character. Squid Plumber. Trying to come alive, unfortunately. Well, 59 for 81. Wait a minute. You might not want to pull another grenade. Yeah, that was not the button you want to hit right there. Oh, my goodness. What 12 Squid Plumber running away with things. It's looking scary. It's looking dangerous. He finally does get down, though, and this is where things need to change here because Squid, he hasn't really had a kill from Edge in quite a bit of time. He's finally calling out these shield options. Dark, not the best EI right there. Has to go high, though. Okay, Dark, what are you going to do? Oh, okay. This could be big. Goes for the up smash, though. Alivi, I mean, kind of gives up some space to, to Squid Plumber. I don't think that's what you want to do when you're in this scenario. Up B, not going to take the stock snake really heavy. That up B, fortunately, not really that potent when it comes to being a kill option. He's dodging all of these options here. The up air is not connecting the forward air fade back, though. Dark, just when you thought it was safe to drop shield, Squid Plumber had the attack perfectly positioned. Really well spaced, well timed. 1-1 um, one, one between Dark and Squid Plumber. What counter pick do you go to? What stage? If you're, if you're uh, Dark, do you go to? Dark also, I don't know, you look a little tired. You're, you're like, well, that took a lot out of me. <laughs> that was an ass whooping, all right? I don't know what to do anymore. So if I'm thinking stages, I'm thinking something with short horizontal blast zones so that you could just destroy this man with Nikita. Mm. Like, I think the town is one of Dark's more preferred stages. Otherwise, like, triplats could also be very good here. No, Smashville, though. I, I was going to say, Nikita's actually not really catching Squid Plumber that much. And maybe uh, with the shorter blast zones, you're concerned about maybe uh, getting caught in holy water into a smash attack and dying too early. I'm not sure. Um, but... We're going to see if Smash fills the state. I mean, you can hide uh, C4 better, which just came into play. That is something that a, a lot of snakes do like to do on this particular stage. True, and it does just control a ton of more space for you. It's yeah. a larger percentage of the stage is controlled just passively. But right now, Dark is... The problem is, is that this man can now ledge trap you from center stage. This is true, too. Doesn't have to move at all. 
Fades out the blowing up of the C4. Not able to really get anything going for it, though. Dark keeping things close, throwing out these back airs. Not able to make them connect, but definitely applying some pressure. And that axe on the forehead is going to hurt. You're at 130. Don't get hit by Holy Fire. I mean, Holy Water. Or things might be a wrap. Toss him off stage again. The up be a little bit unsafe, Ooh. but really not the hardest of punishes, but it keeps it going. Squid having a heck of a time getting down. I don't think he has a double jump, so this is an you easy You just thing. lost your stock because you did an up B, which I don't even think it was possible for Dark to get hit by it. You did that up B, and then you just never regained anything. And oh man, that, that has to hurt if you're Squid Plumber. Squid tries to land with the back air, but again, trading with grenade. Dark forced to just drift all the way to edge, but Squid just cannot finish this stock. 216 and counting. That cross still nearly not, killed. Still not good. Okay, fine. Yeah, there we, we go. We there did. we go. And a slight pop off from Squid Plumber. You were safe while you are doing all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when the dude's living to 216, yeah, at, at some point it's like, let me just please get anything. Good yeah. God, make this man go away. Okay, I kind of like the up tilt. Unfortunately, that grenade still blew up and actually hit Squid Plumber. Shows Nikita good stuff. Okay, a little bit of parry going back and forth. Fantastic grab from Dark. Oh, we made it back. I love that recovery. Oh, I thought we I thought we were going to see a follow-up. I thought the drag down there came in. That was clean. One thing I do not agree of that Dark does quite a bit is he uses up tilt in situations where it has no prayer of killing. Yeah. Like, if they're at 100%, even if you're tapping their shield, you're staling the move. And with snakes, like, not phenomenal kill options, I think you got to keep it fresh. Does get it on that platform there, though. So at 120, that will finish the stock. And he has a commanding lead right here. So Definitely does. And when you factor in the fact that you lost your last stock at around 235%, you are healthy as can be at the moment. Yeah, unless things change, you are looking to go ahead and just tap it in for an easy victory here. But the problem is, is that Squid is not having any of it. The edge trap situation again, not working out. Dark's aggression at edge is starting to pay off. Definitely true. I like the grab attempt. But I mean, if you're a Squid Plumber, do you still go for these kind of lower damaging moves? Or do you go for things that are, are going to take the stock, you know? Can't really get punished too hard right there. Dark is swinging. He's hitting every button that he can that hits above him. Just please go away. <laughs> Anything. To get act really alleviate some of that pressure for Squid Plumber. Did oh kill my himself? gosh. Oh, great C4 recovery. He DI'd it perfectly so he didn't get forced into an untackable situation. Squid Plumber, where, is the, where are the chains when you need them most? There it is. All right, what do you do? 77%. Dark just has to bail out. <laughs> I love that double jump. It was a perfect option. Yeah, if you're dark right now, you're just, I'm not fighting. <laughs> I'm leaving. Oh, whoa. Oh. But you might not be fighting because you just keep getting juggled, though. 56 unanswered. Holy water drops down. And just. It just Squid never Plumber. ends. Squid he's he's already the got the lead. 104 to 80. How does dark hit the ground? If you hit the ground, I, there's definitely some hope. Okay, good stuff. Can't get the grab though, and now he's in another edge oh, trap situation. The again. cross barely missing him. Are these grenades gonna be enough? I think that was an unintentional dash attack right there. I think that was supposed to be a forward air, but it doesn't matter. Squid Plumber has only taken 7%. 7% 7 to 150 that has been given. But gets crossed up with that explosion, the oh, dash I think attack. This is it. This there was no Nikita! He went up with it by accident, and, and he gets killed it. for it. Squid Plumber taking it over Dark. And what should have been Dark's game, Dark's win, at the end had the chance for Nikita. Barely flubbing it, and Squid Plumber can't believe he just defeated it, Dark after it, being down by so much. It looked like Dark had sent the Nikita straight up, and I cannot think of a reason why he would do that. He cut off the fuel, but the problem is, is that when you did it at that angle, it's already over the edge, so it's not going to fall down. Yeah. It's not going to cover that tether recovery. You have to send it down and do like that little half circle spin <laughs> at edge. And he just he flubbed that execution, and that cost him the match immediately. I thought I saw up smash, up smash. Was it up smash Nikita? It was up smash Nikita. Okay. Wow. Just uh, it's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah, a bit wow. unfortunate there for Dark, but it does appear as though he will have an opportunity to go ahead and advance this.